Get your wallets out, Valley Club, because the Awaken abilities for Nova are now going to be for sale. We also have the information on Nova's legendary event, which packs are coming back, which are not coming back. And we also have calculations on what you should be hoarding this week and the rest of your questions for the mailbag because it is Monday. And if you're ready for all of that Valley Club, then you know what to do. Find that like button. Let's go smash it. Valley Flyer. Hello, Valley Club. Welcome back to the Valley Flying channel. I'm Valley Flying. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you had a great weekend. And I hope you're ready for all the latest information about Marvel Strike Force. We're talking about Nova's abilities. We're talking about his legendary event coming back. We're talking about what to hoard this week. And we also got your questions from the mailbag. Now, this is your first time here on the channel. Hit that subscribe button because we do a video like this, answering all of your questions every single week. We also have videos with uh, more news on Marvel Strike Force gameplay. Everything to help you in Marvel Strike Force is on this channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. But let's talk about these Nova abilities going for sale, these Awakened abilities. So this is what it said on Friday. Materials for these abilities and all these uh, Awakened abilities look very good. And what they're designed to do is make it so that this nowhere team a little better on offense than it is on defense so you're not going into these horrible mirror matches and i kind of like this part in reviewing the frustration with mirror matches with previous apex war teams like gamma these awakened abilities have been designed to help mitigate that friction and if we look at all of these awakened abilities all for war offense but what i do not like uh, what i think the majority of the community does not like materials for these abilities will available in a special nova overloaded orb which can be purchased for power cores. So you can't earn these from playing the game. You can't earn these from doing well in the event. You have to use your power cores on these or you have to buy these through a limited time offers, which gives you two times the value, but you're still using real world money on abilities for a legendary character, which is kind of frustrating. Now we also got notes notice of which Nova abilities are coming back or which scourge abilities are coming back for the Nova event. So what we have, we have some dates here finally. So we know that the Nova ability, the Nova trials were wrong. We had some effects that were going on, some scourges, some packs that were going on that were not working correctly. All the bio characters were crazy, crazy good. And we have a second version of Nova Travels coming back with a leaderboard. It is scheduled to start Wednesday on the 24th and running till Sunday the 28th. So four days to get all of your runs in, which is not good and no we're on compensation for all these scripts as well which i think they should be doing please note that this date could change slightly due to technical reasons we'll have the following packs disabled bio armor evasive maneuvers and bio charge so everything related to bio characters because it was affecting your characters the enemy characters and they're just getting a ton of speed that they shouldn't have got also snake eyes pack is going to be changed to match to functionality so as a reminder about leaderboards, tiebreakers are scored chronologically. So Scopely, they want you to get in there as soon as possible to do your run. That way it breaks any tiebreakers. So hopefully there's compensation for this because we're not getting a full week to do all our leaderboard runs. And instead of doing one good run and letting it stand now, if you want to get those leaderboard war, uh, rewards, minimum you have to do is two runs to get the milestone rewards and for the leadership re uh, leaderboard rewards. Hopefully there's compensation. So again, to review the uh, ones that are going to be removed so bio charge is going to be removed and this was the pact where all bio characters spawn with full speed and energy bars so that's not happening because that didn't work correctly bio armor when a bio character dies all bio characters gain safeguard that wasn't working correctly so that is going to be disabled and also evasive maneuvers when a character dies their bio allied characters gain evade so all three of these packs are going to be disabled and this one, Snake Eyes, it was actually working opposite. So on spawn, player characters were supposed to gain increased critical hit damage. Well, it appears that they were gaining increased crit chance. And all enemy characters were supposed to be gaining critical hit damage or critical hit chance. They were gaining critical hit damage. So when this comes back, it's going to be reversed. Players are going to be gaining the chance and enemy characters are gaining the damage. And that is what's happening when it's coming back. But let's take a look at what you need to do this week to make sure you complete all these events and all the milestones. And we did this on Friday. And if you want to get all the advance notice of what you need to do for the next week, make sure you re uh, look at our blog post live reaction. Every Friday we do this with the Valley Club. 
or if you don't have time to do be a part of that live stream make sure you check out the replay because we have all the reactions all the calculations for what you need to do for the subsequent week's events and uh, this is kind of a review for that so this escape velocity web milestone this is where you need to spend campaign energy over the course of five days you should be able to get 16 and a half million points for that if you're spending at least thousand campaign energy per day so not that tough to get if you're doing your 50 core refreshes now this out of the web out of the world milestones this is for gwenpool this is how you're going to unlock this character milestone 33 is where you're going to get the unlock milestone 29 is where you're going to get the uh the meta item and then milestone 39 is a tough one but if you want 40 additional gwenpool shards this is where you would get to now doing 20 raid battles per day will get you 2 million points per day but there is a limit on how much you could score over the course of six days so what you score over six days a little over 10 million 16 little over 16 million from the web milestone that should get you over 26 million which just is just with that is going to be enough for milestone 33 for that gwenpool unlock so very very easy for the unlock and if you want to get more shards for gwenpool well you could keep going with some of these orbs that you could purchase with gold so that's the good thing about there we also have these trials and tribulations milestone very easy to win these crucible battles and get the full uh, the points for this with your alliance all 24 of your mem uh, alliance members need to get at least five wins that should get you more than enough for all this stuff and these geared to the glory milestones this is for war battles now this is not tied to a meta item and it looks pretty tough to get so uh if you're doing 12 attacks 30 uh, for three wars that's 36 points or 36 thousand points opening 10 training orbs that's another 20,000 points so this one looks to be tough to complete unless you've hoarded a bunch of training orbs but the good thing about that one it's kind of bonus stuff in my opinion it's not tied to that meta item but let's go and talk about your questions from the mailbag first question of the week comes from Christopher hey Valley I have a question what is the best member of the death seed team so if we go in game and look at the death seed members I think it's the, the obvious choice is going to be the only horseman on this and it's Archangel and I think that's the proper choice although you can make some fringe arguments for Nemesis being the healer of the team you can make a fringe argument for Dark Beast being able to revive members of the team that die but uh, I, I think the correct argument is going to be for Archangel but uh, that that is my opinion if you have if you have some strong cases for some of these other members though Valley Club let me know in the comments let's get back to the Valley Club what I learned to in msf s is to one ten thousand percent exploit when available to get full rewards because the comp with honest people are never fully made they didn't give us the blue ice rewards yeah and that kind of that kind of sucked uh we have a few questions about that and uh, hopefully scopely does make this right unfortunately there's been kind of radio silence about this since this initial message that we got the event on may 10th that everyone was allowed to complete in whether they or compete in whether they uh did the requirements or not to address this a new uh of incur uh iteration of the incursion raids went live and was introduced and we got that but what didn't happen was players that were erroneously able to complete some of the rewards they got nothing which is not good so instead of the same amount of t2 level four level five blue ions that went to everybody it did not so some players were able to get some of that good stuff some were not some players were able to get some of it and then got nothing as far as compensation and the problem is that none of the compensation featured any iso 85 for anybody that didn't initially spend so there's a lot that went on with this uh we've been asking about this for a little bit in the envoy chat but not getting a lot of responses so i think this unfortunately is gonna be how they handle this because yeah it's uh it's not a good solution they should have handled this like the summer of blunder just made the event available to everybody give out that iso 85 the blue five and give that out to everybody and everybody that spent and got to do it a second time that would have been the best solution that would have been the easiest solution but they're, they're this convoluted way to handle this and it's not rewarding people uh, is not rewarding the players very equitably all right uh valley people are as complaining about certain characters particularly minutes didn't receive any love does anyone realize that whenever scopely adds another gear tier or level cap increase every character gets this nice stat boost even the minions and other useless characters yes this is true but a lot of the newer characters the ones that people aren't saying that need reworks already have a higher base stat so as they increase the levels that multiplier that base stat multiplier 
it's, it's starting out a lot higher for these characters that people aren't complaining about, like these non-minion characters or some of these newer characters that have the uh, more up-to-date stats. With some of these older characters like the original Guardians or anybody that's not been reworked, they have these older stats that are in line with all these pre-Silver Surfer characters that uh, even even when they get leveled up and geared up still aren't in line with those with some of the more modern tunes. So yes, all of them are going up, but it's not going up at a certain it's not going up evenly. They're going up in proportion to where their base stats already are. And these these characters that are already good, uh, they're getting even more love when these level caps increase and the characters that are not good because their base stats are so low just uh, are kind of even getting worse. So that's that's kind of what's happening there, brother. Hey, Valley Greens from Singapore. Any word if they're going to fix the incursion raid to give us a T2 level 5 eyes? The current compensation is a joke with them leaving out the most important part. Do you think it was intentional? I do think it was intentional to give us the bad compensation. I think they were thinking not as many players would be angry about this. So they're just giving this out and trying to hold back to T2 five ions t2 level five ions i think though if there's enough community players that are complaining about this that are giving them feedback they rely on feedback so if you don't like what they're doing let them know now i would say this let them know in a constructive manner in a manner that can be shared with the devs because if there's profanity if there's certain language in there that's not like neutral language or just stating what the problem is and getting too many emotions in there then the community managers can't share that with the devs so just state facts state why it's bad state why it's a bad problem uh how unfair this is and hopefully they will respond i think feedback is what we need from the community i think at this point we need to band together about these parts like the awakened abilities being for sale when not giving proper compensation for the events that they broke we need to let them know our opinion a little bit more and uh, and yeah, let them know. Seems like this was done intentionally to prevent free to play players from getting the ions. Yeah, I, I think that's definitely like that. It shouldn't have been because this was their era and they should give everybody all that stuff instead of just giving everybody access to the bug raid and then release it again with the restrictions. They came up with a complicated solution to prevent free to play players to get those T2 ions their purpose was not just to accept the spinners and pretend about caring about free-to-play players giving them pathetic compensation how is this in line with competitive integrity uh it's not it's not in line with competitive integrity because competitive integrity everybody would have gotten what was fair for them this not everybody got what was fair for them uh that they spoke about previously uh if this is not fixed it looks it's time to quit the game given how so many folks took advantage of the bug i'm not sure how many folks took advantage of the bug i think they said it was very minimal i'm not sure about that one way or the other though but yeah i'm not sure how many took advantage of this but this is it is, it is bad that they've done this like this and not not made it fair it's only a matter of time till they give the bug the, till they give the big boy apocalypse with this advantage they got screwed by the bug zero t2 level five ions arena war cc all be ruins because unfair to the advantage they got and yeah this is this is bad they, they need to give us the t2 level five ions. now i was made whole i was someone that bought the offer got that they need to give this to everybody though they need to give the t2 level five ions to everybody everybody that did not get a full set of this should get a full set of this whether you did the rewards or not uh and also they need to give this out correctly because i'm also hearing that some players that got some reward got the rewards the first time also got compensation as well so there's a lot of issues with this uh they need to handle this correctly they, they should have just handled this like some little blunder then there wouldn't be any issues anymore but yeah they 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 like to do this in like the worst and like the the cheapest way possible all right hey valley getting close to doom 2 finishing my bionic avengers tech team i have a pretty big kang that i geared up due to how useful is everywhere was wondering which bionic avenger do you bench for kang uh depends on which game mode but i know right now in the doom raids i'm benching iron man iron man is going off kang is going in not necessarily the first node in the in the doom raids because i think the full bionic avengers work better in that full uh, in that first node but second node third node i think kang does work better and iron man's the one that i'm taking out brother uh hey valley do you think uh thank you for all you do for the community i was wondering do you have an import code for your blitz team i do not but we can make one right now let's go into the game here and these are my blitz teams in the save squads if we go to um yeah we have to select all and then we'll just share so we've really we've already selected all let's just hit the share button down there we have our 
import code. We're going to copy it and I'm going to post it right here on this just so you can see the paste in case it doesn't uh, go there. So LGK. A A W F N D, and I gotta give a special shout out to Zodiac, short for all of these um, import codes for Blitz. Uh, pretty much, this is what he did. Now there are a few save squads that I did need to change around to match my roster a little bit, and I would recommend anytime you're importing a code from anybody, you do need to switch around a few teams to match your roster a little better. Uh, for example, this team here is based on Cloak and Dagger being big. This team right here is based on. Uh, Deathpool being big. If these two characters are not significantly above the rest of these characters, these two Blitz teams aren't going to work. So if like Korath, Juggernaut is around the same level as Cloak Dagger and Blob, then this team is not going to be very good. The reason this team works very good is because Cloak Dagger are way above these characters. So you're getting strong characters matched with hopefully weak characters on the enemy team. So you do need to switch these around a little bit. And I switched around Zodiac Shorts, save squads a little bit just to match my roster. So with that in mind, that is how you could uh, hopefully make use of all these save squad codes and if you do use my save squad code you probably will need to adjust it a little bit to your roster but hopefully it helps you brother all right and last question hello valley level transfer and fomo in this game is getting worse day by day as of today 23rd may 2023 at least half the players have or will unlock nova but we still don't know if he needs dark promo or not for his reds uh this was shared in the envoy chat and there's so many things that are under nda not i think that we can share this but yeah dark promo credits for nova so uh if you are saving normal promotion credits or red stars you don't need to do it for nova save your dark promos for nova that's how it's gonna be unlocked uh gear 18 pieces are out of the gold store and yet uh and we know it's the requirement for dd6 and we know the prize is super scroll but we don't know anything about his kits or stats I don't think that's weird, but yeah, they're, they're, it's kind of like the apocalypse, right? We were starting to build for apocalypse. We were starting to build for this character. We knew nothing about him. We knew nothing about what game mode he would be great in. Uh, and this was all the way back when Morgan Le Fay was announced. So that's, that's kind of how they've done things in the past. So I don't know if we're going to complain about that too much. Thanks to Scopely and it's 3000 IQ uh, devs or decision makers. Now new raids come with fixed rules. Straight out saying use X team at Y lane or F off. Yeah, there's some specific call outs in the new incursion raids to screw Bionic Avengers, to screw some of the other teams that we've been using, to screw Dormammu with the Mystic section. Uh, it is not fun. It's lazy design, in my opinion. They could have had different characters, but now they're just saying, you know what? The old team that you built for the old raid. Uh, instead of putting new characters, that's going to challenge that team and make it so that you have to use the new team. Screw all that. We're just going to put in some rules so that uh, you, you can't use a new team. Yeah, screw design. We're not going to design a raid like that. We're just going to put in some rules so that you don't you can't use your old team and you have to buy the new one. So, yeah, this one I do have a problem with is very, very lazy design. Hey, they should they should do better. They should do better with this. It's kind of like what they were doing with Cosmic Crucible. Instead of designing cool new characters for Cosmic Crucible, new rooms are like, oh, you have to use your Tangled Web in one room with the Eternals, and you're using your Wakanda is in this room, but you can't use the dark, uh, the dark, the dark hole to beat them because yeah, you are supposed to use Masters of Evil. So we'll put new rules so that you can't be. It's stupid lazy design. They need you to do better with all that stuff. That is what I have the most problem with. Uh, that and probably the power cores for the Awakened abilities. But that is it, guys. Hopefully this video helps you. If it did help you one way or the other in Marvel Strike Force, leave it a like. It does help that YouTube algorithm. Check out some of the other videos because we have a lot more of these helpful videos that answer your questions and help you guide you along the way in Marvel Strike Force. But thanks for watching guys i'll see you guys next time make sure you check out some of the other videos make sure you join us every friday for that live blog post reaction and all your all your calculations for all the events for the following week and i'll see you guys next time hulk fist bump valley flying out